Well, hello, Cybrary. This is Dean Pompilio, and I am bringing a social engineering course to you. So we'll be looking at lots of different tools and some techniques, and I'll do be uh, demoing a bunch of things for everybody so you can get an idea of what's involved in different aspects of uh, data gathering, digital info gathering, some of the electronic ways to uh, socially engineer someone versus uh, doing it over the phone, perhaps. But in this first video, what we're going to explore is Kali. Uh, many of you probably already heard of Kali Linux, but in case you haven't, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what's involved. So open up your favorite web browser. I always recommend using Start Page as my search engine. This is a, a private search engine, so it uses SSL, as you can see, and they don't track your email address. So you have to start thinking about things like this when you're doing pen testing and social engineering work, being mindful of your, your uh, digital breadcrumbs that you're leaving behind. Okay, so we're going to start out by going to the Cali website, Cali.org. And once you're here, you can go to Downloads and pick the appropriate download for your, uh, for your needs. I'm, I, I believe I'm running Kali Linux 64-bit. And what I recommend is downloading the ISO image. If you have VMware Player or, like myself, you have VMware Workstation, then you can build a virtual machine from this ISO image and make it very easy to boot up Kali within minutes. So there's also uh, some links here for uh, virtual box images in addition to the VMware image. So you can go to the offens uh, official offensive security Kali Linux page and get your VMware ISO image. Again, 64-bit or 64 -bit and 32-bit choices are available. All right, so uh, once you've downloaded the ISO image, then you simply go to your uh, VMware player or your, in my case, VMware workstation and create a new virtual machine. You could pick the typical settings. I was doing this earlier, so my my uh, path to my ISO image is right here, underneath one of my one of my folders. And simply follow the prompts, uh, give it a name, and I recommend storing your virtual disk as a single file, and then click finish. Once the virtual machine is finished building, you can boot it up by right-clicking, uh, going to the power menu, startup guest. I've already booted the, the operating system. And when you go through the configuration, when it's, when it's being built, it'll ask you uh, simple things like, set, similar to setting up a Windows box. It's very, very simple. So we'll log in. Oops. Okay, so the, the first thing you need to know is where your command shell is. It's kind of nice with a semi-transparent background. Um, one handy shortcut to think about is Control-Shift-T. This creates another tab. So now I've got three tabs open with just a 
couple of keystrokes. This makes life a lot easier than switching around a bunch of windows. Anyway, the other thing to uh, know is the Ice Weasel browser. So very handy right there next to your command shell. You'll use both of those fairly often once you get familiar with Kali as your penetration testing platform. So since we have the browser open, the next website I'd like to visit is one that's uh, very useful for the person who is just getting used to uh, uh, Kali Linux. So we want to go to tools.kali.org. And if we go to the tools listing, it's a little bit hard to read, so I'll make the font a little bigger. But here we have all the tools that, that are contained in Kali in the current version, and they're organized by type. So we have forensics tools, stress testing, password attacks, reverse engineering, sniffing and spoofing, and so on. And we can simply go to any tool that we're interested in and click the link. And we get some information about that tool uh, perhaps some manual pages. And so I'll show some of the tools that we'll be using later in this course. And this is a great place to get used to using the tool and figure out uh, where to get some of the documentation and so on. So like Nmap is a popular tool for a network scanner. Lots of good information here. And you can go to the home page Okay, so remember tools.cali.org. Then the next thing is the menuing system. So from the applications menu, uh, you can browse these and you've got your typical desktop type tools. Lots of interesting things available here. Mostly we're going to be spending our time in the Kali Linux menu. You also do have some office type document uh, creating tools, programming tools, sound and video, your system settings, programming uh, or debugging tools and so on. So there's lots of choices. Have your top 10 security tools. We'll actually uh, get to explore a couple of these during, during this course. And they're organized by category as well. So it's worth spending some time browsing through these menus just to see what's available and get a better understanding of, of what kind of, you know, you might recognize the name of a tool, but you're not really sure what it is. So then go back to uh, tools.cali.org and uh, do a little research. Okay. Okay, so the next thing to think about is making sure that your, your instance of Kali on your, your virtual machine is updated. So we can run the apt-get update command, and this will go out to all of the default repositories to update all of the components inside of your uh, Kali VM. Uh, this might take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause and we'll look at it when it's done. Okay, that finished. And now we can see that there's quite a few updates that were installed. Again, the command is apt-get update. You can also use apt-get to do lots of other things. You can upgrade your operating system, install new packages, remove packages. Updating, in, uh, installing, or remove are probably the things you'll use the most. Anyway, uh, this is a good idea to, to do once in a while to make sure your, 
your uh, Kali Linux is updated and essentially patched. As far as the tools, you may have to update those separately, so keep that in mind. Okay, so that's your basic high-level overview of Kali Linux. We'll be returning to this environment for most of the demos that you'll be seeing in this course, and I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.